Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today I admit to be a non-powder fan reviewing a very important powder. I'll explain that to you as we go along. Today we are going to look at the brand new NARS Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. This little guy is $36. It is brand new, comes in eight shades. It is supposed to provide a natural matte finish and can be worn alone or over foundation. Reduces shine and is supposed to last for like 24 hours, which is amazing. Now, I am either the best person to do a powder review or the worst. Let me explain why. I'm not somebody who relies on powder. I do not have oily skin, nor do I have combo skin. I have very normal normal skin. But before you say, oh, then you're no help to me, Rebecca, I admit there are people out there who rely on their powders. In a way, I'm a good judge of powders because I don't rely on them, so I can tell you whether they make my routine better or worse. I have also had the pleasure of having this arrive, oh, about four days ago, in the in the midst of a bunch of other uh, new products for review. So I put it last in line so that I could play with it a little bit and tell you guys how it lasts. Now I am at the end of the day here and this is about as oily as my face gets and I have no powder on whatsoever and no powder products except on my eyelids and we're not going to use it there. I'll tell you where I use powder the most and that is under the eyes because otherwise I get little you know fine lines and creases. I don't know from where <laughs> but I do get fine lines under my eyes, and I also like to use it around my nose. Uh, so let's talk about the shade I chose, and then we'll demo it, and I'll tell you my thoughts. Right now, I'm not wearing any of it. Um, this is $36. It's an, uh, an expected price from NARS, but there's not a great shade choice. So there was only eight shades available on the Sephora website, and I thought perhaps maybe NARS, the website itself, which this is not on yet, would have more shades. Um, I was kind of missing my shade. I'm a light or a light medium and I am most definitely a neutral and there was none. There was fair neutral, which is definitely not me. So what I did was I took a guess and it seems like from my DM, so many of you made the same guess if you're around my shade choice and that was light um, with warm undertones. So that's the, uh, the shade Cove. So that's the shade I went with is Cove. I'm okay with that because I do get some redness around my nose and some discoloration under my eyes. So I thought, okay, that could work for that. And it does, but I do wish they had more shade choices throughout the entire line. Usually we find that a lot of brands lack in their shade delivery for those with deeper skin tones, but I think this one may be all along the line. So maybe they're just testing it out and they'll add some more. Let me just show you how it works. I'm kind of okay with the um, slightly yellow tone because it's good for that redness. I brought a little small brush over and I'm going to show you this um, under my eyes and around my nose. Now I definitely am getting a little bit... Um, a little bit oily around my nose. It's really been all day long. I've been going, going, going. So let me just show you how this looks on one side of my face. And it definitely controls that shine that you don't really want around your nosy. So on this side of my face, I have put the new NARS powder and it does make my nose look better. On this side, it's kind of left to its end of the day shine, which isn't a ton of shine for me, but it's definitely there. And that looks much better. This isn't an area of your face that you want a lot of glistening around. And I'm gonna use that same small brush to set underneath my eyes, even though it's been all day and they've been setting on their own, let me tell you. Now you can also wear this on a no makeup day. You could wear this, well, let's build it a little bit and see what happens. You can wear this without makeup, just to kind of keep the shine down and such. Um, and I think already, I don't know if you can tell or if the camera is picking it up, but this eye here I have powdered underneath it to just kind of set and refresh, because it has been all day. And this eye has nothing underneath it. I can tell a difference already on this side of my face. Now I brought over a much fluffier brush, a Refer 22 to be specific, and I thought we could set the entire face. I'm not using this as a finishing powder because it's very matte. And I like to buff a finishing powder in as a little bit more of some sparkle to it, but I'm just going to put this on now with a big fluffy brush. Sorry, I put a lot on there. On this side of my face, just to kind of set things and just kind of keep things nice. I'm just brushing it real quickly. I'm not 
buffing it because I usually save that for something with a little bit more glistening powder to it. But let's just see, towards the end of the day, when I'm getting tired and my makeup is looking tired, did it refresh in your opinion? This entire side of my face has this cove shade from NARS under the eyes, around the nose, and then just kind of dusted, albeit in a large portion, <laughs> accidentally on my cheek and this side has nothing and I think this side definitely looks refreshed. For me with very normal natural skin I enjoy this product for two things. I like it in the morning to set around my nose and under the eye and then midday I like it to just kind of refresh my makeup. Since this can be worn with no makeup underneath and just I like it as just a kind of skin refresher and brightener. I you know, things start to, the makeup starts to maybe pull apart a little bit towards the end of the day. I've been in full makeup for about 10 hours. And I, again, we're wearing it just on this side. And I feel this side looks fresher, more youthful, and more awake. You can tell me what you think. This side has just let the hours kind of make certain parts a little more oily than others. How did I find that this held up in the days I've been using it? Beautifully. I do think this is a very good powder for those of you who rely on it. Um, this is not the first time that NARS has had a success with powders. Usually hourglasses are powder go-to and there's so many good ones out there. Charlotte Tilbury. How does this uh, relate to the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush uh, flawless finish? powder. I would say they're on a par, actually. I really would. Um, if not, maybe this one a little bit better, but I could be biased towards the new. Okay, so you can weigh in down below on how you feel about that, but they're certainly on a par. This is a very good product. My only crit criticisms being the shade range, although I would have gone for a neutral, and I don't think that the going warm with it, even though I'm neutral to cool almost. I don't think it, you know, did me a disservice. So I think that the shades are stretchy, but I do wish they were a little bit more encompassing. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to start any sort of controversy here, but I, I wish there's a little more, but maybe they'll add to it. I just think it's a very pretty product. The compact is so nice and thin. Look at that travels so easily and I just like it with a little fluffy brush for under the eye and around the nose especially for me but um, at the end of the day when things feel like they're pulling apart for me it's a great refresher. For those of you who have an oilier complexion or a very oily t-zone this would be great applied in the morning and I think you would really like it. It doesn't pull apart under my eyes. It doesn't cause or settle into creases. It does definitely give a little bit of an airbrushed look. Um, not to copy the name from Charlotte, of course, but it does kind of give that best finish even on my normal skin, which can go dry. Um, I just think it's a nice pick-me-up. But let me know your thoughts down below. Did you get this? And are you someone who relies on these kind of products? What is your favorite that you've tried before that you would be comparing this against? This is what makes us a community. I'm really interested in what you guys have to say. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. And if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow. Come say a big hello over on Instagram and TikTok too. And don't forget you can support this channel by becoming a member for special perks or by giving super thanks. But at any level that you're involved in, I am grateful for your presence. And for you, I need to go put powder on the other side of my face now. And I will see all of you, I hope, in the next video. Bye-bye.